I've been working in the space since early March, so basically two solid months of being able to be here and experience building the thing here. And, um, and I think that was really good because the first thing I wanted to do was build a straight wall, almost like you would a stud wall out of these straws to kind of mirror the one, the wall that's in there, kind of jutting out from, from the main brick wall. Um, but the straws didn't want to do that and I didn't feel like fighting against the material in that way. You know that triangles are going to be the strongest, you know, in simplest form. And the straws want to bend and go together in a certain way. So while I did choose to do kind of a landscape type uh, profile to it, I think I think the shape was kind of pre-determined uh, just by the materials. And um, so because of that, I was thinking about cause and effect type um, relationships where um, not necessarily like a butterfly effect type thing, but like the way we set up relationships and set up um, things that happen sometimes are so complicated and confused that you kind of forget where the starting point was. Um, and I think that's similar to the way that these things are built in that, uh, like I want, I want the wall four feet over to bend a certain way so I have to do things over here uh, at a certain angle and so it's kind of this um, constant play between what you want to happen and what you're doing and so it changed into kind of the um, more of a organic structure and um, then by the time I thought I knew what I was going to do with it I was going to turn it on its side and kind of suspend it from the ceiling, but um, I was just so attracted to the structure of it, how it's able to stand up on its own, and it started to take on these different kind of uh, angles and almost landscape type things, so I think allowing it to stand on its own is pretty powerful, so that's why it stayed like that. And I'm pretty happy with where it's at, I don't think I would change it again in any major way.